how to control your mouth when angry. Hello my friends, I'm Daniel Talley, the Note to Self Guy, and welcome to my channel. If you're looking for a channel that is always positive, inspiring, entertaining, sometimes funny, and sometimes a little bit corny, then congratulations, you've arrived at the right channel. But one thing I can promise you, with this channel, every episode always has a big message. Today's episode is, how do you control your mouth when angry? Well, I have to tell you, sometimes people say some stuff that really just piss you off. But we have to learn to control our emotions. We have to learn to tame our fiery tongue or to tame our tongue in general. Uh, it is important that we do so because if we don't, we might just wind up going out there and whooping somebody's behind because of some stuff that they didn't say it. However, there is a way for us to control our anger. We can control our emotions. We can, uh, we, we can stay cool and calm and collected. We can, uh, we can get through this thing. But the question then becomes, how do you do it? Before we begin, let's start with the poor man's proverb from my award-winning and best-selling book, Note to Self, Faithful Inspiration and Aspiration. Your approach to a toxic situation makes all the difference in the world. In other words, how we handle a situation helps to determine the outcome. We got two choices here. Either we can throw gasoline on a fire that's already raging, or we can choose to put water on that fire. And we can do this by the way of the words that we choose. Now I have to tell you, it takes two to tango. So do you want to be the dude who looks like an idiot yelling and screaming and jumping up and down? Or you want to be the guy who is calm, cool and collective and is talking rationally? Which do you want to be? So how does one remain cool and calm when someone's yelling or screaming at you? Well, fortunately for us, God has a scripture. Now it's small in stature, but it is super powerful. And if we can follow the scripture, it will allow us to uh, control our anger. It will allow us to uh, take control of our emotions. It will allow us to eliminate stress. In fact, it may even allow us to remedy the situation altogether. Now I have to mention, if you are a Christian, this is something that you should definitely have in your toolbox. Because I have to tell you, this right here is anger is an anger management tool. And it can be used on just about anybody. A soft word turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Proverbs 15.1 By a soft word, I believe the Lord is referring to uh, selecting words that are not going to inflame or make the situation worse. Here's what we can do. First of all, take three deep breaths. Do that before you answer anything. And then think about which one of the fruits of the Spirit can you use. We use love joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, or self-control. The thing we have to remember is that we should, with the aid of the Holy Spirit, we should clothe our answer or clothe our response with one of these fruits of the Spirit. Now, some folks will get on your last nerve and they will push every button that you got. For them, you may have to use more than one fruit of the Spirit in your response. Heck, for some people, you may have to throw down a gauntlet and use all nine of them. Psst. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Now, truthfully, it is very difficult for a person to continue their verbal assault on you when you're using the fruits of the Spirit on them. Now, time for a real-life example. Many, many years ago, I worked as a corporate HR manager, and I was working with uh, a vice president trying to help him with a uh, 401k benefit issue. Now, we were trying to uh, accomplish what he wanted without violating company policy or violating the law. But apparently, that wasn't good enough because this guy had a few choice words for me, and then he had the nerve to tell me to shut up. No, he didn't. Did this dude just tell me to shut up? Look here, I ain't always been a Christian. Back in the day, I would have took his butt out to the parking lot and whooped his behind. But fortunately, God has allowed me to, to grow in my spiritual walk, and he has given me grace and mercy. But the fact of the matter is, just because you're a Christian that mean, doesn't mean that you need to be anybody's punching bag. You don't have to accept uh, foolish talk from anybody. Now, I remember Proverbs 15, 1, then I took my three deep breaths. And then I thought about the fruits of the spirit and I responded to this guy in this manner. I said, sir, that was totally unnecessary and uncalled for. And quite frankly, I didn't appreciate it. Now, I'm here to help you and I will continue to try to help you. But I cannot help you if you are coming at me the way that you're coming at me. Now, when you're ready to talk to me in a calm, sensible manner, I'll be happy to help you. Until then, this meeting is over. So the VP got up, uh, although he never apologized, he got up and just walked on out of my office. And uh, any future dealings that I have, have with this guy, uh, we were never buddies and lifelong pals, but uh, at least he didn't speak to me in that manner again. The bottom line is this, a soft answer really does turn away wrath. It can help to keep the peace and resolve the problem. 
perhaps we should all give it a try. <laughs>